Jamila again. Hello. I am looking at the online uh, appointment system that I use. And I'm not sure if you use one, but this is the one I use. It's called BizLink. And this has made my life so much easier. Um, honestly, um, at the beginning, it was a little challenging to, uh, I guess, not have. I felt like I was losing control of my schedule by doing this. But this is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Um, this is truly automated my income for my um, salon business. And I encourage you to do it if you haven't done it. Even if you have a receptionist, I still encourage you to do it um, because a receptionist is not available 24 hours a day. So I'm going to log in and I actually want to show you a couple of things on it. Okay, it's the main login page and I put in my username and, you know, the salon where I am, you know, and you get all this when you sign up. It actually um, is fairly inexpensive. It's like $40 a month if it's just you. But if it's a, a salon and there are six of you, you can load, yeah, you can load up to six people on for $100 a month, which is pretty darn good. Let me log in. And so... The cool thing about this is that I don't really make appointments. I meet people. I do consultations. You know, I may chat with people on Facebook. You know, I hand out cards here and there. I get personal referrals. But mainly uh, all of my regular clients go on and book their appointments. And this actually allows maybe three months ahead of time. And it allows them to book their appointments up to three months in advance. And some of them go right in and book them all the time. The standing appointments you can book yourself, which is cool. So now I'm going to go to my view appointment page. And I'm just going to turn it a little bit so that, you know, the names are kind of blurred. So, you know, I look for my appointments. Today I don't have any appointments because I'm off. And I can set that up. So under setup over here. It's kind of blurry. Let me be still for a minute. Okay. So under setup over here, I could choose employ, you know, uh, appointment setup. Under employee setup, that's what you do at the beginning where you choose like the duration of your styles. You can actually control how much time is allotted for each style. So if someone chooses a particular service, the system will only show them availability for that service. So see, it says individual setup. And I'm going to choose individual setup for me. And then I put in my employee number. And then I choose schedule setup. And so here I can actually put in my office hours and I can change them at will. So I still have complete control of my schedule. See, I'm off. See, not applicable Sunday. So I'm off Sundays. So I choose NA. I'm off Mondays. I choose NA. And Tuesdays, I come in at 10 and I leave at 5. That means that if a service takes an hour, the last appointment time available is going to be 4 p.m. and not 5 p.m. So you can kind of gauge what time you would get out of the building as well. So it makes that adjustment for you. And so I'm just going to hit back because I didn't change anything. I just want to just show you where you could change your appointments. And then you can actually do complete off days. You can do special breaks. Like if you're just leaving for a couple of hours for a certain amount of time, you can set client, client limits, which actually tells you, you know, tells you the amount of time where clients can't cancel. See cancellation limit. 24 hours. So if somebody has an appointment tomorrow, they cannot cancel it today by going online and clicking cancel. They have to actually call me. Ahead of, you know, outside of 24 hours, yes, they can. Two hours, no client can schedule an appointment within two hours from the current time. In 90 days, no clients can schedule an appointment beyond 90 days from the current date. And schedule view increment, 